over a month. And before I get into it, I just want to show off Scout to the world. Here, bud. Come here. Good. Do some tricks. Sit. Good. Shake. Good. Shake. Good boy. Down. Good. Good boy. Crawl. Crawl. Close enough. I'll take it. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Stay. Stay. Ready? Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Come here. Oh, shoot first. Weave. Good. Good boy. Weave. Good boy. Good job, bud. And spin. Spin. Close. Spin. Good boy. Yes. Almost four months. He's learned all that. He's really taken up training well. So I'm going to go show what I've done to the power stroke in the last month and tell you the epic failure of my week. Good job, bud. All right, so I'm in this parking lot area. This is where I like to film, it's more private. And before I get into what I did to the truck, I just wanted to apologize real quick, guys, because this should have been done a month ago. And I, again, I'm really sorry. People have been asking me what was the problem with this truck. And sad to say, guys, I didn't solve it. Um, I, what I thought would solve it didn't work. And so now I'm back to square one. So basically, um, I've been suspecting for a long time now that it's the IPR valve. Everything's kind of pointing to it. Even Wesley Johnson, a subscriber of mine, um, he has his own channel. I'll link him up in the corner. He sent me a form link, and the guy was describing pretty much ex exactly what was going on, going wrong with my truck. And again, it's pointing to the IPR valve. But my thinking behind it was instead of pulling the IPR valve, getting a new part for like 150, 200 bucks, hoping that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to do the job again to return the part and, and reinstall the original one and then go to the mechanic and have them diagnose it for me anyway. So I just skipped that step and I just went to my mechanic that I've been going to for almost a decade now. They have specialized tools and uh, they've been working on the Huey injection system probably longer than I've been alive. So that's what I did. I took it to my mechanic here downtown and they found a couple codes that Again, same codes as my uh, Forescan tool found, P1211 and P0476. It's the exhaust back pressure tube. And what that is, it's a little tube that goes off the passenger side manifold and it ha leads to a sensor. And it basically tells the computer how far to open up the butterfly valve, the, the back pressure valve on the turbo. And that it's notorious for all 7.3 power strokes, that tube to be completely clogged with soot over the years. And that's exactly what happened to mine. And I'll, I'll go over uh, the engine bay in a second here. It was completely clogged up. You could blow no zero air through there. Also, the sensor was all crusted with carbon. It, it just needed to be replaced. And so they also suspected the ICP sensor. And that would make sense because it's injection control pressure higher or lower than desired. So uh, they wanted $1,100 to replace it. And I said, no thanks, let me just pay for your time. And I did it myself. And so I had to wait for parts to come in. That exhaust back pressure tube came with a sensor. It was from Amazon, it was like 45 bucks. And then the ICP sensor is an original Ford part. It's a motorcraft part. And that was 150 or so. So anyway, did it myself for literally a quarter of what they would have charged me to not fix the problem. But anyway, I, I do notice a slight increase in power um, with that exhaust back pressure tube. Something has changed there. I'm not quite sure what, but I just think the computer's being able to read that sensor now, and, and that's probably made a difference. But still have that check engine light. The P0476 code is gone. Now I'm just down to that P1211. So let me go out and I'll get underneath the engine bay and I'll show you what I've done here. Okay. I'm going to climb up on in here. So this sensor here is the exhaust back pressure tube, and you can kind of see it here. It leads all the way down to the passenger side manifold, and it tells the computer 
how far to open up this butterfly valve here in the turbo. Now, if that's clogged up, the computer system can go kind of haywire, and I've heard it can even defuel the system, and that would make sense for low power, and that's why I suspected it in the first place. But even though the code is gone, I'm still getting that P1211 code, and that led me to the ICP sensor. It's pretty easy to replace. It's like an inch and a 16th, inch and an eighth socket, and again, didn't fix the problems. So I just spent roughly 200 bucks to not fix what, I'm, what I've been trying to fix for over a year. Pretty frustrating. So basically the plan now is I'm gonna go after that IPR valve. Everything's pointing to it. If the PCM was bad, it would be, the check engine light would come on and off erratically at random times. This check engine light is very specific at, at a certain uh, mile per hour, at a certain load on the engine, and if it was the injector drive module, the idle would be all over the place. So my guess is either the high pressure oil pump or the IPR valve. Probably the O-ring in the IPR valve or like the screen is clogged. Something's not jiving right. And that's what I'm gonna go after next. I just wanted to update you guys on why I haven't been making videos because I just, I haven't been able to fix this yet. If I, if that tube fixed it, I would have, shown you the footage that I tried to film over a week ago so um, guys thanks so much for watching the video sorry I didn't fix the problem I'm still working on this truck might have another project truck coming on the channel very soon as a little spoiler and uh, I'm gonna get this thing up and running hopefully before the 4th of July I can I want to be putting some American flags back here and having fun this summer so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care